Hello there, I'm Donna from Riverside Beads and today I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful angel charms and these sparkle spacer crackers. They're made from our gorgeous sparkle spacers that come in five different sizes and I've used an assortment of them which I will show you for each piece today but the angel uses all five of the sizes and the crackers do only use two but in a couple of colours. So let's have a little look. I shall introduce myself. Hello. Let's have a little look. So I've got the four pairs of pliers out that we're going to need. Um, we may not dip into all of those today, but I'll show you the core pliers that we need, which are the flat nose pliers in two sizes I have. I tend to use those for grip then. I've got the round nose pliers, which I use for turning my loops, and the cutting pliers, which I use for shortening. Um, I've got head pins, and I use them for both projects. This project here has a tiny little bead cap goes on the bottom of it. You can barely see that if I bring that up to the camera. There, tiny little bead cap on there. And that one then stops the bottom of the sparkle spacers falling off. Now, this first bit of this skirt is using assorted sparkle spacers. Now, this is our gorgeous Angelica. Um, she is called Angelica the Angel and she is made first off with assorted size 12 and 10 millimeter and if I bring those up so you can see that you can just catch that color can't you between the gold and the silver she looks beautiful you can see on the picture as I started how, how she works then we carry on with <clears throat> an 8 millimeter in the gold and oh I need to alternate them sorry gold first then silver and then the same in the six millimeter in gold and silver so the nice thing about the kits that we do is we put everything you're going to need in them so if you only want to make a few this kit makes 10 you've got everything you need in there then we carry on with our four millimeter like so so that then if you see how they all knit together the tiny little wheels sort of interlock with one another and then that makes a skirt of our angel now she's quite a unique little angel here so what we do is we pop her wings on whichever way you fancy but we've designed her with the wings there and then we pop a little spacer above the wing which just knits into that little space between the wings there then we go six millimeter for the head and that's a bead and then a six millimeter sparkle spacer bead there and that is your gorgeous angel done. Um, I've missed her little bead cap out of her as well. Can't remember where she goes. But it's got, you get all the instructions in there as well. I just happen to not have mine to hand. I'm taking my cutting pliers and I'm cutting that about a centimetre above the top of the angel there. And then round those pliers. I need to bend that at a 90 degree angle the way that I do it first. I slightly do it with my fingers, being careful not to stab yourself. And if I bring that up to the camera, hopefully you'll be able to see that loop going. So I, I'll pop it that way so you can see. And round. And finish your loop off. I just tend to drop it into the back of that plier there. And round, just making sure. I'll just manipulate that with my hands a little bit just to make sure it doesn't catch on that halo. And then, I think it did still catch on the halo. Let me just look at it rather than showing you guys. And there is your loop on the top of your angel. So the way that I start it and roll it in is how I get that loop round and in the centre of your little angel there. So that is our gorgeous Angelica angel made. We do different ways of doing these sparkle spacer angels. Sometimes we just sort of do two of each colour. But this is a, a nice little one that we've launched for Christmas. So that could be for any season. It's not just for Christmas. Nice, um, nice colours with the gold and silver. Very classy and simple. Goes with most colourways. So that is our gorgeous angel. Let's have a look at our sparkle spacer crackers. So there's the finished one of those. Let me bring those in so you can see. And these are made as earrings. So our kit that we've got for these is um, you can make those as earrings if you wish to. I'm going to take a head pin and I am just going to pop on two 8mm silver. So I pick these straight up from the mat. And then whichever colour you fancy popping in there. But for this one, this kit is our new pink cracker. So it's a pink colour pop in there in the centre. And then 
two more of our eight millimeter. What we do on this is then use a four millimeter, which actually gets slightly hidden by the little bead cap, which just sort of finishes it off just to cap there. I'll get that to focus on that and not my fingers. There we go. That's that. <clears throat> and then we bring in our gorgeous colour. So we've gone for pink again, bring in our colour. We build this up then with two each of them. Oh, missed it. One of our pink. And then we just alternate a couple. Silver, pink. And then two more of those. And you can see how this is all starting to knit together and really get that defined sort of gap there, which looks like the, um, the you know, how you would pull the end of a cracker. These make really good earrings. They are metal sparkle spacers, but they, they don't end up too heavy. I'm not a big earring wearer, but these are incredibly cute. Um, I don't wear long earrings normally, but these are not coming in too long, so they're working quite well. I've gone for, so then you reverse it, so I've gone for the pink sparkle spacer there, the bead cap facing the opposite way, with the 4mm bead cap in there, 4mm uh, sparkle spacer, sorry, in there, and then we go... Oh, I'm going to run out of these, I think. Oh, I've just got enough. Look at that. I, I, this wasn't from a kit. I just tipped these out and it's just enough for me. Um, and two more of those. So it's a reverse of the opposite. Now, you do get step-by-step -step instructions, so don't worry. You've got everything you need in there. So if I take this all apart again so you can see it, how it works, it looks like that. And then you pop it in and that all knits together to give it that sort of illusion of being a cracker. Absolutely stunning. Thank you to Heidi who designed this. And then we just adapted all the colours and, and bits and bobs that we used in there. And it's absolutely beautiful. Now, again, it's a head pin loop. Let me just remind you of that. Nip it off. Round those pliers. I'll do it from a distance so you can see the process. Bending that at a 90 degree angle slightly with the pliers and slightly bending it with my finger. Although I'm being very careful there not to stab the end. Round those pliers there and roll in. When you can't sort of get that round anymore, drop it back into the loop, so like that, and roll it round again. These, you do have to have it more so you can see it here, rather than, because them sparkle spaces, they do kind of get caught on there, if not. But you'll be able to have it, obviously, nearer to you to do. I'm having to do it under the camera for you, so... Um, and that is your loop again on the top of your cracker. Now this kit does come with the ear wires. So all you do with the ear wires is just flip open the base of those and this is where your flat nose pliers come in. Either flip open the base of the ear, ear wire or you can flip open the top of the head pin. So you flip it open like that. Let's do it so you can just see it open there. And then that hooks onto your project. So whatever it is you want to turn it into. You could use it as a, a drop off a necklace. You could use it as a, a key ring. Um, a, little, a little charm off of a present. You could hang it off your tree as well. So, But the kit does come with the earrings as well. So these are two fabulous new kits that um, Riverside have launched. And um, they're available in store and online as well. So do give us a shout if you've got any questions. We're live on Facebook at 3.30 every Wednesday and then we pop it onto YouTube. Um, so if you want to get notifications of those, just, just click subscribe and you will get those each time we do our live. We try and cover different techniques, nice little top tips and things that you'll need to know. So take care everybody.